Hey guys, we're going to look at the F-150, what they're claiming to get. This is if you're uh, buying a new one. Uh, don't believe all the stuff you're reading here uh, and that they're showing you in the commercials because I want to show you that uh, you're, you're not going to really get what they're claiming because it's in the fine print. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're putting uh, little, little footnotes uh, like on the bottom here what you need in order to get those high ratings so uh, uh, for example um, they're claiming here that you're gonna get uh, 3270 pounds of, of max payload but what they don't really mention is that it has to be equipped uh, over here it says um, like it's written so small uh, when properly equipped so um, for, for this one it says you need an XL regular cab 4x2 so who's really gonna buy this uh, regular cab 4x2 um, and over here in the picture, the, the picture they're showing, they're putting this big pipe in there uh, with one tiny strap on the forklift. Uh, you won't be able to really do this in real life because in order to strap something that's uh, uh, 3,200 pounds to the pickup, you won't be able to uh, secure it properly in, in the bed of a, a pickup truck. This is like for... Uh, a commercial truck you would need a very heavy tie down uh, the, uh, like the ones that are included are have two little screws and you you can't put like a a, a, a big metal hook into one of those uh, tie down the tie downs that are in the four corners of this pickup truck so they're 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 kind of like uh, ex exaggerating this this is a little pickup truck uh, a half ton you, you would need for something like that to safely do it, maybe uh, a flatbed with the dual tires. Maybe like the F250 or 350 or something like that. So also, uh, they're, they're claiming uh, that you can tow right here, 12,200 pounds. This is for 2017. But uh, what they don't really clearly show is that if you look at the bottom here, uh, that you you need certain uh, uh, equipment to do this. Uh, it says maximum capacity when properly equipped. And it's not available with the standard uh, V6 engine. So I'm going to show you what what you need according to uh, this book. Uh, so over here it says uh, that the class four hitch is optional for the XL and the XLT. That's most of the trucks right there. Um, and if, if you want this, uh, just the trailer tow package is not going to give you the maximum. That's only up to 11,000 pound. There's another one here. It's the max tow uh, package, which which is going to uh, include also the, the heavy duty payload package. This is going to add a lot of uh, weight to your truck because uh, it says here that uh, it needs a, a transmission cooler. Uh, the upgraded front stabilizer bar, radiator, rear bumper, and I don't see here, but it uh, they're going to give you different kind of tires, heavier wheels to handle all this weight. Um, so it's going to be a stiffer suspension also to handle the uh, payload package, heavy duty. Um, so you're, you're not going to get the, the mileage, the fuel mileage that um, 
you thought you were going to get. And you're going to get a worse ride when the truck is empty uh, in order to have all this uh, maximum payload, maximum t tow uh, package. If you look right here, uh, conventional towing notes, the trailer tongue load should not should be uh, 10 to 15 percent of total loaded trailer weight. Make sure that the vehicle payload reduced by option weight will accommodate trailer tongue load weight and the weight of the passengers and cargo and uh, added to the towing vehicle. So when you put the trailer on the truck, you won't be able to get the maximum payload uh, because uh, on a like a twelve thousand pound trailer, that's going to be you're going to need a thousand pounds on on the bed, approximately. And uh, over here, it says that uh, uh, that uh, the the amounts they're giving you like a twelve thousand pound. That's with a hundred and fifty pound driver. And uh, all the, uh, you have to subtract all the options you have, like 4x4 four four and all that stuff. And it also mentions that you can't exceed your, your axle ratings, which are listed over here, it looks like. But... Um, like uh, for all these trucks, uh, it's it's stating that you're gonna get uh, a certain amount of uh, pay payload, and uh, I'm gonna show you right here. For all these engine options, for example, the three and a half uh, V6 uh, naturally aspirated, it's saying you're gonna get the uh, 1,900 pound payload. Well, I have this truck; it's only 1,600 pound because it says right there that's the max payload capacity that's with the payload package which is not included with the the, the, the truck that's an extra uh, option you have to pick same as the eco boosts uh, the 210 to 2200 pound payload is with the payload package that's why they have a little two there uh, you know so most trucks is not going to probably even have that the the the, the five liter the 3270 payload, you're not going to get that either unless you have the payload package, which is going to be, like I said, heavier wheels, uh, uh, higher probably uh, PSI on the tire, different kind of tires. Uh, everything, like probably the leaf spring, everything has to change. So you're not going to get as good as a ride uh, if you want to carry uh, th 3,000 pounds. The EcoBoost is a similar you're not going to get that that uh, towing or the payload unless you have the special packages which they don't they don't really tell you this in the commercials and all this so i've i've made a little model here of an F150 um, with a trailer showing you uh, that once you put the trailer on you've reduced your, your your payload capacity so you have to subtract weight from your truck like your passengers and stuff like that So just keep in mind that uh, you have to look basically at the the door jam of the truck to see what the, your truck can actually carry. Most of these trucks that are in their dealer lots will not carry this kind of weight, not e like not even close. Okay guys, uh, have a nice day, thanks for watching.